goes to Josh first. How would you work with the sheriff's office to create a positive and productive relationship? How would you work with the sheriff's office to create a positive and productive relationship? Well, um, I think that's one thing lacking right now, and I think both sheriff candidates hopefully will bring Whichever one gets elected will bring that back. I've talked to both current candidates, have a decent relationship with them. Um, we know we're going to be on the other side of the aisle, especially on a lot of things. But I think what a person needs to do is come to the meeting with open arms, not closed arms. You need to listen. I talk to a lot of people on a daily basis that we just try to solve problems. I don't try to sell you what you don't need when you come into my Napa store. We sell you what you need, and that's it. Um, working with the sheriff, I think, is a big priority. And we can all see what's going on now, the disarray it's causing, the problem it's causing, the feeling it's causing. That's something I would very high prioritize on. Brett, how would you work with the sheriff's office to create a positive and productive relationship? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, no, as a county mind. commissioner, if I was in that position, I would keep an open door with that uh, individual, with the sheriff that's running that department, to public safety. Again, you've got a sheriff's office, you've got uh, employees, you've got a jail. Um, it's a heck of a budget, too, that they run. Um, they have their needs that they furnish, and as a county commissioner, you've got to understand that pretty much A to Z on, uh, and understand how the sheriff's office works, but that goes the same with all the other departments, too. Um, if there's issues, you got to address them and work with the new sheriff. Um, they have to prove they're capable. Being a new commissioner, I'd have to prove I'm capable. And then you go from there. If they've got priorities, if when they go into a new office um, and they see problems, I mean, they're going to have to address that and um, get things fixed. Um, but usually it, what I see is it takes, when a new sheriff comes in, it takes two years, three years to even implement something. And then you know, four years maybe to start seeing it, and then it takes another four years after that to actually see if the system works. But that's something where I would understand that, but that goes along with any other department too. Okay. Thank you. Okay, panel's all out of questions. So you guys oh, wait a minute. I turned in a question. Nothing was brought to their attention. Straight it out, I suspect. I want to know what you're going to do about the misconduct on your sheriff's department. Terry, you don't get to ask a question from the audience. Sit down, please. There's a bunch of shit then. It's discrimination. And if you know how to do about the con, bullshit. Okay, thank, you. Thank, you for your, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you.